Hey everyone, it's lovely. Welcome back to our channel. And to my dear subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss any of my future posts. In this tutorial, I will share to you my original pattern of this bandana hard to tap. These are the materials that I will be using. In the pill yarn, 3mm crochet hook, needle, scissors, and any of your available beads. Now we will start at the bottom. I will use my purple colored Hindu pill yarn. When starting a project, I always use the center of the yarn. To start the bandana, chain 11. From your hook, make 5 double crochet on the 6th chain. Slip stitch to the last chain using your violet yarn. Chain 3. Turn your work. One single crochet in between the chains and the 5 double crochet. Make two chains and one single crochet in the middle of the five double crochet. One single crochet on the space in between the chain and the five double crochet. Chain one and make another one single crochet. Using the purple yarn, make three chains. On the chain, in between the two single crochet, make 5 double crochet. Chain 2 and make another 5 double crochet on the chain in between the two single crochet. Work on the violet yarn Slip stitch on the purple yarn. The sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Make three chains. Turn your work on the space in between the chains and the five double crochet. Make one single crochet. Chain two. One single crochet and chain another two. There is so much love to give. Something's telling me it's right. One single crochet. Chain one. One single crochet. Chain two. One single crochet. Chain 2 and 1 single crochet in between the chains and the 5 double crochet. Chain 1 
and another one single crochet and chain three then work on your purple yarn chain three and make another five double crochet on the chain in between the two single crochet Chain 2, make another 5 double crochet on the chain between the 2 single crochet. Basically, you'll just have to repeat the pattern and procedures increasing on both sides using the violet yarn. Make sure that every time you finish a row, there should be an increase in numbers of the 5 double crochet. As you can see, I started with one set of 5 double crochets at the bottom. And as I increase the rows, I now have 3 sets of 5 double crochets. As you keep on doing the same procedures, you should have as wide as this. This will be across the bust area. Before I reach the last 3 rows, I'd like it to be a bit upward. Chain 3 Make 3 double crochet on the chain in between the 2 single crochet. Chain 2 And now you have to do 5 double crochet on the chain in between the 2 single crochet Now do the rest of the row until you reach the second to the last two single crochet. Now do pipe double crochet. Chain 2 and make 3 double crochet on the chain in between the 2 single crochet. Both sides should end with 3 purple double crochets. Turn your work using the violet yarn, make one single crochet in between the chains and the 3 double crochet. Chain 2, one single crochet in between the 3 double crochets. 2 chains, 1 single crochet, 
Chain one and another one single crochet. Do this with the last three rows. Make two chains, one single crochet in between the chains and the three double crochet. Chain one and make another one single crochet. Slip stitch and cut the yarn. Slip stitch the purple yarn into the violet yarn. Cut the yarn. Find the center of the bandana and count six two single crochet from the center. This will be the part of the bracket. Insert your hook using the purple yarn. Make three chains. And make the rest of four double crochet. Chain 2 and make 5 double crochet on the chain in between the 2 single crochet. Do the same procedure until you reach the last of the 6 2 single crochet. Now we have 6 sets of 5 double crochets. Using the violet yarn, slip stitch on the 2 chains. Chain 2, turn your work. Use one chain on the violet yarn until you're left with one chain. Slip stitch to the purple yarn. Chain 2. One single crochet in the middle of the 5 double crochet. Chain 2, 1 single crochet, chain 1, 1 single crochet, and so on. On the last 5 double crochet, slip stitch on the first of the 5 double crochet, and chain 1 slip stitch on the two chains and cut the yarn
Sleep stitch. And cut the yarn. On the second row, work on the chain in between the two single crochets. Using your purple yarn, chain 3. And make the rest of the four double crochet. Do the same procedures until you reach the last two single crochet. Using your violet yarn on the two chains, make another two chains, turn your work, lose one chain from the violet yarn, and slip stitch to the purple yarn. Do the same procedures until you reach the last row. After you finish the last row, the bra cup area should look like this. After that, start working on the other side of the bra cup using the same procedures. After you're done with the two bra cups, your top will look like this. Now pull each of these excess yarns so it won't loosen up. Using your violet yarn, make two single crochet each on the spaces on the edge of your top. Make sure that you include the excess yarns when doing two single crochet each around. After you reach your starting point, 
Slip stitch on your first and second single crochet. Use a needle to hide the excess yarn. Do the same on the remaining excess yarns. This is how I make my strap, but you can always use your own method. Make the straps with your desired length. I leave a long thread before I cut the yarn for my tassel. Now make the strap on the other side. Again, pull the excess yarn to secure it. Use a needle to hide the excess yarn. I will use beads on my tassels, but if it's not available on you, you can choose not to add any. I will use my size 9 Aimea hook to insert the beads on the yarn.
Do the same on the end of the other strap. This is how I make my tassels, but you can always use your own method in making your own tassels. I will wrap it 10 times on my fingers. You can wrap it more than 10 times to add volume on your tassels. This is the bra pad that I will attach on my top. To start with, I will sketch lines on the sides. Then I will get a needle to make holes on the lines. Insert your small size hook on the bra pad. Using the violet yarn, slip stitch and make two chains. Make one single crochet on the same hole. Chain 2. One single crochet on the next hole. Do the same procedures until you reach the starting point. Now slip stitch on the first single crochet. I leave a long thread before cutting the yarn for sewing. Do the same procedure on the other pad. Now attach your bra pad, align with the pipe double crochets. Secure the pad before you cut the yarn.
Now this is where I insert the strap of my top. You can adjust where you want to insert your straps to fit the top on your body. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you like this top, please make your own version and tag me on my social media accounts. Thank you for watching. Keep on creating.